Hi everyone, I'm here with this week's happiness strategy and this week the theme is all around celebration and really looking at some of the ways and ideas that we can celebrate our life right now. I think, you know, there is a lot of excitement and joy to be had in having something kind of big on the horizon, whether it's an adventure or a vacation or a special occasion or something that we are really, you know, excited about getting to do in the future, we can really have some excitement and joy in the moment through looking forward to that. Um, but when we don't have those big things on the horizon, it makes little sense for us to wait to have a reason or cause to have those same feel-good reasons. And so this week, I just wanted to invite everybody to maybe create their own list of reminders and ideas of things that you can do in your life to really get that same sense of excitement and joy about life right now without having to have you know some big external reasons or cause for that um, to happen you know to not always have to have something big on the horizon in order to give yourself that gift of feeling really good about life right now so I'll just share a few of the things on my list, um, things that I use as reminders to really just celebrate my life right now. And so one of the biggest things that I use um, as a resource to really feel good about life is gratitude. Um, just even starting my day and before I you know, go into my thoughts and ideas about what I need to do, just taking a moment or two and just saying thank you and also just maybe even saying out out loud like yay today is a new day and I get to have an adventure and just being grateful for being alive in this moment um, it really does kind of put everything in perspective and it gives us that same sort of feeling of of gratitude and joy about about life in general. Um, and then another thing that I like to do is to spice up those mundane tasks, whether it's doing laundry or cooking or um, doing dishes or paperwork, um, you know, the things that are, are sort of repetitive and can not be all that exciting. Um, something that I like to do to sort of spice up um, those tasks is to set the mood, to create a different environment. So it might not be the typical um, sort of just push through. I'll put on some fun and light music or maybe dance around while I'm cooking or cleaning up and to really just sort of choose to have some fun while I'm doing things that might not be overly exciting and it does have a way of just creating a new experience that um, does kind of have a celebratory type feel to it. Um, and then also something that I love to do when I'm feeling, you know, a little blue or just feeling like I just sort of need to be more energized is to get outside. You know, that is such an obvious thing to do. Um, but sometimes when the weather's not all that great or we have a lot on the go, um, you know, we can often lead stretches of time where we don't get outside and we don't get to breathe in fresh air and we don't get to kind of witness um, all of the reasons before us. You know, they're everywhere when we're outside in our landscape and the views um, in just everything nature. Um, that it is a real miracle to be alive. And so I love getting out for a run or going for a walk, um, just anything I can do, or even just cracking open the window in my office and just, you know, breathing in the fresh air and listening to the birds. Um, it can go a long way just to feel more energized and to really have that feeling of like joy right now and, and, and being grateful for being alive. Um, and then another thing that I like to do is to remember to take some time away from my phone. So to leave it in the car if I don't need it um, or to leave it at home if I don't need it. And, and this helps me to um, not have those needless distractions. You know, instead of writing down my list on my phone, I'll just put it out on a piece of paper and then I have the reminder of all the things I need to do when I'm out running errands. And then this way... You know, it does, when we don't have our devices in front of us, we are a lot more likely to connect with other people and to, and to witness um, life around us, to be more present rather than to be distracted um, 
and you know we we can when we're distracted we miss those really amazing opportunities to witness other people around us and to connect and and that doesn't mean that people around us are always going to want to connect with us but what i like to do too is to just notice other people and and to even just send a silent um wish of goodwill out and that does make me feel really good in the moment and it does make me feel happy and grateful to be alive and um it takes me out of my mind and sort of just into my body and just feeling more present and i think when we do that when we feel really present in our bodies and and connected to who we are it's just automatically it's so much easier to just celebrate life right now like that in itself it just has a really nice energy and a feel good um kind of way about it so I invite everybody this week to look at some of the ways that um you know some of the things that you do on a regular basis and ways that you might be able to add more presence and to really look at how you can celebrate life in the moment without having to have a reason or cause to, you know, perhaps have an impromptu dance party or to um, connect with people around you, Um, whatever that looks like for you. um, I just invite everybody to give themselves the gift of that, to of celebratory, um, fun, joyful energy. It really does go a long way to just feeling grateful and loving the lives that we're in and also expanding that energy out to the people around us. Um, I think the world does need a lot more of that. So um, whatever you get up to this week, I hope you have fun celebrating who you are and celebrating the unique and amazing life that you get to be in. And we'll see you next week. Thank you.